$2,500 on the line. White Raw right now up 1-0 against Amaga. Impressive play from both players. I'm still so impressed by the Mask Queen plus Corruptor and Transfuse play by Demaga, but it wasn't quite enough. White Raw had been macroing just a little bit too well for his opponent. I do think, though, if Demaga, for instance, had invested a little bit more in taking an earlier third, he would have just had slightly more units and could have whomped over White Raw's big Void Ray Colossus Force. But either way, that was on Metalopolis, where players do like to take a lot of bases, do a lot of long-term expand-oriented play. This map going up into Game 2 is going to be Blistering Sands. Let's take a look and see how this will pan out. Completely different map, a lot more aggression. I'm unsurprised that Demaga is choosing this map. This is one of the most Zerg happy maps in existence. He is spawning in the top right position as the Red Protoss. In the bottom left, we have Duck Load, White Load, Duck White, Dark Wing, Ra. In the bottom left, he is the Blue Protoss Pieces. I would once again like to give a big shout out to Dreamhost for helping put this tournament on. Of course, for Zerus, the most organized man in StarCraft, making things organized. Way to go, Zerus. Either way, we do see that right now, 1-0 for White Ra. There's Pylon going down right next to the Nexus. Interesting that he's not blocking off. The reason people like to say that this map is Zerg favored is because of this little destructible rock. Keep in mind that the faster an army is, the more that it can abuse mistakes. If you attack and you didn't have enough units, if your army size was too small, that means that you will be able to get chased down by those faster units. That's why things like speed zerglings make a map like this very dangerous. Also counterattacking, if you move out of your base and didn't keep your backside covered, you can get completely demolished. Oh man. We do see that uh, Duckload now sending out that first probe. And again, Demaga going for the very fast extractor opening. I think this is particularly smart on this map. The distances are long, so one would think that early expanding might be the, op or the um, optimal play. But in my eyes, players will send out that scout probe so early, so often, and block your 14 hatch, that not only does this help circumvent that, but also you can take your speed zerglings and put pressure back on the back door. Always want to be ramming as many zerglings into the back door as you can. That always takes the Protoss by surprise. Either way, um, does look like this probe is now doing a little bit of harassamencio, uh, trying to take as much minerals as he can. That's going to rack up to a grand total of five. Either way, he is a, a little mischievous probe. He will be getting a misdemeanor for his offense as he returns home. Cybernetic Core going down. I'm so fascinated by the fact that Duckload has not actually walled in his front yet. That was a somewhat late cybernetics core as well as we do see Duckload at 21 food. Looks like he threw it around 18 or 19. Uh, looks like we see some more drones coming out. And this is, again, quite an interesting play by Demaga. Look, only four Zerglings. He got an extremely fast pool, clearly only to be able to get his Zergling speed up fast. Not necessarily because he was wanting to get a lot of Zerglings up early. Looks like the probe from White Raw is doing a retreat. Will it park up on the high ground? Yeah, it's going to go ahead and get a good sense of what's going on. Definitely needs to run away. Yeah, get out of there, Proby. Do you see that first Zealot from White Raw making its way out? How will White Raw transition? We see Blink Stalkers very popular on this map. An extremely effective way to open up. There's the Zergling speed, a little over halfway done, and it looks like in the battle of Day 9 against Day 9's Fever, the Fever is going to make a little bit of a runny nose assault. Let's see if Day 9 can make a counterattack. <sighs> All right, still even, evening up the series, a good play by me. Looks like the probe now is continuing to maneuver around the base. Zerglings are going to try to pick that off, try to take it down. Now White Ross finally closing off the front door. We are seeing sentries pop out as well in the third gateway, but always a little bit risky to do anything super early expand focused on this map because you have to get a lot of units out. And now it looks like, ooh, no units end up getting lost by either side. I'd honestly say that was a little bit of a benefit to Demaga as he is going to force a retreat from his opponent. He's going to be able to sneak up here to this watchtower. Absolute total control by Demaga on this map. Steal this build, folks. Very easy to do. Very effective. More drones popping out from Demaga. He's going to be doing the transfer right away. Fourth gateway coming up from Duckload. Very smart play. Love four gateway openings on this map. Not only can you defend your own back door, but you can put pressure right back on his back door. It is a battle of the back doors on this map. 
uh, we do see that there are more drones popping out. And a Roach Warren very early again. A lot of people say, why make a Roach Warren when I could instead make Speed Zerglings? It's all about being low on larva. When you go for a pool first and then a hatch, you don't have that many larva to defend. Wow, five gateways coming up. You don't have a lot of larva to defend. So what this means is that you want your larva to be making the most powerful unit you can be making. If he could be making hydras, he'd be want to making those. But because he cannot make those until he has a layer up, he will opt for roaches over zerglings. Because again, he is low on larva, so he wants to make the meatiest units possible. There is the default spine crawler going down right now. And Demaga very smartly has this overlord position here. He wants to be checking this area. If he sees no expansion in about... In the next 20 to 30 seconds, he's going to know that something terrifying is coming up. We see White Ra having a lot of probes right now. And oh no! Two in the gas! That is critical for this build. You need to be able to make plenty of sentries to keep all five gateways operational. We do see ten drones coming out from White... Or excuse me, from Demaga. White Ra is in an unbelievably good position. And there it looks like... Is he going to notice? Is he going to see that he needs to begin making those roaches? Is he going to see he's making two overlords right now? Oh no! Is White Ra going to win with a very easy run in. It looks like Demaga didn't spot it at all. He has no idea that this is coming out. He did not even check for the expansion. And will he even be making yet more drones? Let us see. And it looks like he is well aware that there is an assault coming in at his back door. Oh yes, he knows. Will he have enough food to be able to build those roaches? Five roaches coming out right now. One spine crawler at the back. He is getting the roach speed. I don't know if he's going to have enough time to get the roach burrow. But he needs to get a lot of roaches out no matter what he does. One sentry going the wrong way. Looks like it's going to try to run up and maybe force field this entrance. And yes, a brilliant little tactical play by Duck Load. It looks like he's going to pinch off everything. More roaches coming down, but they will not be able to arrive. Brilliantly timed push by Duck Load. There goes down the spine crawler. See you later, roaches. All the other ones trapped up on the high ground. More larva vomiting going on by Demaga, but it is not going to be enough. He is trying to get those roaches out as fast as possible, but the roaches at the front are just being completely cut off. Endless force fields going on. Demaga might even benefit from trying to run through his own back door to defend, but there is the good game, and White Rot takes the series to a 2-0. This is one of those losses that stings so badly because you know what? If you're in Demaga's shoes and you just planted those Zerglings outside the front of White Ra's base, you would have seen everything. There would have been no issue at all with defending this push. We saw those 10 drones get made right as the push was coming. If those were 10 roaches, maybe another spine crawler out there, he would have been fine. Could have even gotten the roach burrow up and all that stuff. So you know what? Always a little bit of a painful loss, but that means that Demaga does need to pull a reverse all kill. He needs to go 3-0 in the next three games if he wants to go to the finals. But right now, White Rot is just one game away. So whatever you do, don't go anywhere. We're going into game three.